Hello, my ghosts and ghouls. I'm Barbara, your witchy friend, and welcome back to Crochet Delight. Today is Halloween, so happy Halloween. I hope you guys are ready because today we are going to finish the nerdtastic Doctor Who pattern and we are going to turn it into an afghan. So get your wands ready and get your claws ready too. Don't forget, this is a place for all witches, ghouls, ghosts, and souls. So hop on your broomsticks or whatever you've got and let's get started, shall all we? Right. So before we begin, I want to explain to you guys that this pattern is something you can do for any grafgan and turn it into an afghan. So it does not matter if you are one stitch too many or one stitch not enough. So does not matter? No. Do you have to have everything spot on and perfect? No. You can have one stitch more or one stitch less than you need and you will still be able to make this pattern because this is an extremely horrifyingly easy and forgiving pattern. So, I hope you guys are ready. Alright, I hope you guys are ready with your little wands. Don't forget to pick up your little spider webs. You're gonna wanna work with them. So if you're doing the pattern in the two colors that we've been doing, the blue and the white, you're gonna want your white spider web. You only need a strand of it. And what you're gonna do is you're going to insert your hook at that first stitch You're going to ignore the world crumbling outside and possibly a dog going off and you are going to chain two. Now what you're going to do, let me zoom in a little closer for you, what you're going to do is you're going to do two double crochet in that same stitch. One, and two. And that first chain two is going to count as your first double crochet. So now you're going to chain two, and you're going to do three double crochets right in that same stitch. One, two, and three. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip one, skip two, and skip three, chain one, and you are going to do three double crochets in that fourth stitch. One, two, and three. I'm crocheting over the end because what I like to do when making granny squares is when you go to do your three double crochet in this space for the next row, I capture what's loose right here and bring it up. So it kind of creates a zigzag as I'm going. But this is all you're gonna do. You're gonna chain one. You're gonna skip the next three stitches and do three double crochet 
in the fourth stitch. It's two and three. That easy. And you're going to do that all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this with you guys. So go ahead and crochet with your spider web as I crochet. Chain one, skip three stitches, three double crochet in the fourth stitch. Chain one, skip three, three double crochet in the next stitch. And just keep going with it. Some patterns you'll end up with one stitch too many in your base row, the row before the granny stitch, and sometimes you'll end up with one less than you need. But don't worry. Granny squares are the most forgiving patterns if you do it the traditional granny square way. I can't say that all granny squares are forgiving because there are some that most definitely are not forgiving. But if you're doing the traditional granny square, it is extremely forgiving, especially when you're doing graph patterns. And we're almost to the end. For those of you who are not familiar of with this, a lot of people call these crochet, uh, double crochet clusters. So it's a cluster of double crochets in the same stitch. So we are at the very last little bit, and as you can see, one, two, three, and then four. But I'm going to show you guys what to do if you don't have enough. So if you don't have enough and you only have three stitches, that's A-OK. -okay. You're going to go straight into the third stitch and you're going to start. And you're going to make your corner piece, which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in the same stitch. However, if you have more stitches than you need, meaning if you have five stitches or six stitches uh, more, like you have your first one, two, three, and then you've got four, the one you're supposed to go in. But you only have two more stitches or one more stitch. It's go in to the back. Do not grab your yarn. You would go into the fourth one. And then one easy way to do it is, yes, double crochet two together like that. But that's if you have only one extra stitch. If you have two extra stitches than you need, you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook through one, do not grab, just slide it 
forward through the other stitch and then yarn over and you make one stitch. You turn those two stitches into one. So this is pretty simple. You're back to the original pattern is you are going to do your three double crochet chain two three double crochet in the corners. just like that. And as you can see, you've got the granny square base started. And that is actually all you're going to do all along the top, the bottom, and the sides. One continuous round. So that's it. From this point on, just follow that on the sides. There's one stitch, there's two, three, and four. You chain one, and you skip all the way to the fourth stitch. And you do your cluster of three double crochets. And then you just do that all along the side. And then you do the bottom, and then the side, and then the rest of it, you make it however big or small you want using the granny square pattern. It is literally that simple and it is very, very, very forgiving. So do not be afraid if you have one too many stitches or not enough stitches. It is very forgiving. You can literally never tell whether or not you have too many or too little stitches when you are turning a graph pattern or even just a simple block pattern into a granny square. It's really easy, really simple, and it is my personal go-to anytime I do a graph GAN. So, with that being said, we are actually finished. Uh, when I actually get this completed to the size that I want it, I'll show you guys on one of the Hot Off The Hook Fridays. Until then, enjoy your Halloween, and don't forget, there are a bunch of little kids outside. Give them a good fright. See you next time.